Jenny, you won't wait for me, huh? What was I doing since? Dancing my course, eh? Uh, what is wrong with you now? So you now prefer to work with your friends now, eh? And ever since you started working with them, Jennifer has become a nobody. Uh, Jennifer, why are you talking like this? Come on, you know that I prefer working with you than... Who cares? Well, whatever. You're the only one who knows what is eating you up. But... Don't bring it near me. Hi, 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 what is wrong? It's okay, it's okay. See, if I have said anything wrong, please forgive me, okay? I don't want your mom to see you like this when you get to Thank you, ma. Okay, my son, greet your mommy for me. Yes, ma. Bye bye. Huh? No. I, I promised Jennifer that I will see her this evening. Did you, did you not see her this afternoon? Or oh, did they not bring you home from school? Uh, Mom, I'm supposed to help her with her, with her assignment, Mom. Hmm, Teacher Johnson. Will you go in and sit down and do something with your life? Allow the boy to go to where he wants to go. Uh -huh. Or is he doing anything for you now? He's seeing too much of that girl. Everything, all I hear in this house now is Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Is there no other work for him to do? That he has to dust off his boots this afternoon to dash up to her house? Eh? Ogoma, there is nothing as seeing too much of somebody. Mm. It is better he goes now so that he can come back on time. Thank you, Dad. You are encouraging this boy. Thank you, the way he is going, I pray that you don't have to trouble with Jennifer. You are encouraging him more. Look, your son is a very disciplined boy. And Jennifer is a good girl. And they have found friendship. Allow them, let them enjoy it. Thank you, Dad. I hope you nobody can... brings in any baby here. You will marry how? My blood, my blood. Ma, ma, wait till you are Wait till you are back. These guys, wait till you are back. Wait till you are back. Shuba, go into your place. Where are you going? Ah, as you can see, uh, I'm not doing anything in the house, so I decided to take a stroll, you know. Yeah, that's okay. good. You wanted to hang out at the snow car So let's pick you up then. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm sorry, Rosie. I don't feel like hanging out. Where are you going? Take a stroll, then drop in to see Jennifer. Oh, didn't I tell you guys? You're more sunny. So, kilo soft now. Don't do my rapper now. So, for only kill me, what's happened now? Oh my god, I'm not here. Since when you know this game, you're no longer hanging out with the guys again. In fact, you don't even do anything. Everything about you is terrified. They tell you if I very soon you become a woman. Then, that's a kilo word here, no? This is not easy. My damn soldier. Jennifer and I have been friends since we were babies. So is there anything wrong with seeing my friend? My guy, I'm not you. Now you know, but very soon you wake up and find out that you don't have friends again. Oh, then I will see what you do. Obina, Obina. Obina is like you're jealous of a girl. You're jealous of that girl. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl, look, I can get jealous of a woman. Oh, I beg, now you know I beg. I don't see you like that, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you know I beg? What do you know I beg? I don't even like this. Ah, Lasso. Ah, I should not wait now. Open up, I guess it's my family. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Ah, ah. 
What is the third time you are sitting next to me and today? I wasn't aware my sitting room is this dirty. Now, Mom, Nick is coming over. I don't want to come and see the house dirty. Nick has been here a hundred times, my dear. Why is today so, so special? Now, Mom, is there anything wrong in cleaning up the house? Come and sit down. We have to talk. Come and sit down. Jenny. Mm -hmm. It seems you like Nick a lot. Um, mom, he's a very nice guy. Yo. He's a nice guy. But both of you are still too young. I don't think so. I know now, I know, but we'll grow up one day. We'll grow. Okay, but Jenny, one thing. I don't want you to make mistakes, so. You are the only one I've got. I know. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not about doing anything stupid. I say so. Okay. That must be Nick. How would I know? What do you mean, how would you know? She winked at you. That she winked at me, does it really mean I know her? You don't know her, why would she wink at you? <laughs> you are jealous. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. See, if you're not jealous, you really get angry just because a girl wink at me. Why should I become jealous and I'm jealous of who? See, you can only get jealous over somebody if you really love the person in your own. Love her. Just keep deceiving yourself. Eh? <laughs> mm. Jennifer, what's that? What are you doing outside when others are in the class learning? Eh? I said, what are you doing outside when others are in the class learning? James. Please, I'll be late for math class. Senior James, mind you, Senior James Utoka. And next time, I mean, next time you call me some, something else, I will make sure I deal with you. Useless girl. Now, get it. Don't let me. Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer, please come, come, come. I, Jennifer, I am sorry. I, I don't mean to be, to be harsh on you. You know, I love you so much. And you know, I want you to be my girlfriend. You know? A pretty girl like you needs somebody that can that can protect her, you know? A senior, I mean just like me. Not that that mean Nicholas or whatever he calls himself. Me? Yeah? Jennifer, your girlfriend you must have caught malaria. What? Me? Malaria? Ah! Now! Get down on your knees. I said, get down on your knees and raise your hands. I will teach you to show some respect. I said, get down. Yeah. She will not do such a thing. Ah. Yeah. She will not do such a thing. Then you will join her. Me? Yes. Join her? Of course. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, you call yourself Nicholas or what? I am perfect in this school and if you refuse to obey me, I will make sure you get suspended. Me? See my friend, I would like to see you try that. What? to be disciplined by a prefect who has my delegated authority. I'm not stopping at that. You, 
because you think you are stronger, decided to beat him up. Now, give me a reason why I should not expel you from this school. With all due respect, sir, the fact that he is a prefect in this school does not give him the right to punish a girl because the girl refused to date him. Mr. Thomas. Yes, sir. Make sure he doesn't enter the classrooms again. Very well, sir. Young man, you are suspended indefinitely. I will need to see your parents if you are to be allowed to continue in this school. Get out of here. I don't understand it at all. It doesn't make sense to me. You have been suspended. No, Ogomo. I think you should calm down. Calm down for what? Somebody is trying to turn this off into a human being. And all his friends around to do is to get himself suspended because of a girl. And they ask him to calm down. His friend, Ogomo. His friend, Jennifer. And not just a girl. And from the explanation, I think some injustice has been done here. What big injustice? Eh? Who sent you to school to fight? Did you go to school to fight? Who sent you? Eh? And why did you become my Tyson? Eh? Oh, what did you become my Tyson? Take it easy on him, my dear. What he did was noble. Noble? Yes, and it has cost him his place in the school. And the girl is still there. I've warned you. I've warned you about Jennifer. That girl will kill you. Get out of my sight. Went to school to fight because of a girl. No, and you? You are supporting him? Yes, my dear. After all, I once fought over you. Remember? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to turn out this way, you know. We're not at fault, you know. Shouldn't have been suspended. Uh, Jenny! Don't you understand? See, I beat up somebody and I deserve the punishment. Oh, not as much as that brute deserved. Oh, you see, it's just for a few days, okay? See, I'm sure the principal will come back as soon as possible. So, just relax. I'm rather, you know that our exam will first start. I don't know whether I will have the chance to say this again. Jenny, I love you. I'm I would like to spend the rest of my life with you. Nick, um, I care about you so much too. But you know, we are still very young to start talking about staying together for the rest of our life. No, Jenny! See, Jenny, I know what I want. And what I want is you now. Eh? I know.
Uh, Mr. Nicholas, uh, before you answer the question, I would like to see you in my office after this lecture. All right, sir. Hey, now, who is Stanislavski? He, he was a Russian playwright who was born in the year. The door is open. You may come in if you so wish. Good afternoon, sir. You said I should see you after lectures today. What is that, my dear young man? It's my test result, sir. So what was your score? It's 80 over 100, sir. And I'm sure that's an A. Yes, sir. Hmm. Good score, Mr. Nicholas. Very good score. Thank you, sir. And I gave it to you. Thank you, sir. Can I have that sheet of paper? What is written on it? I don't understand, sir. This is 30, 35 over 100. <laughs> and that's definitely an F. Which means that you failed the test. But why, sir? I, I... My dear young man. I also give you that score. Now, exercise your little brain cells. Think. If I give you the previous mark, and I also give you this one, it simply means that the power for you to fail or pass is in my hands. And if I so desire, you will stay in this school for the next five years. Now, if you want to graduate, I suggest Stop kissing Jennifer Araka in the public or anywhere else. There are some of us who are very interested in her. Do you understand English language? With all due respect, sir, I don't know what you think you're doing. In what respect, if I may ask? You have no right to threaten my boyfriend. I have nothing. There's nothing between us. See, if it's your plan to break up my relationship, I'm sorry, you have failed. You know that the little dog that has a smell of death in its nostrils does not hear. 
the owner's whistle. Are you looking for death? Well, you can use whatever proverbs you want to use. But I want you to know that you've backed up the wrong horse. <laughs> I don't think so. I think that eventually you will come around to my line of reasoning. Eventually, you will beg me to sleep with you. I'd rather sleep with a dead pig. There are several things that I can do to you and that little nickel pop that you have chosen to sleep with. Failing your exams is part of those things. So if you have any sense at all, you will simply give me what I want, like your older classmates have done. If you will not open those legs for me, we will see. Hey. Nicholas, Nicholas, you know it's not good to enjoy alone. So, what do you want? enjoy the same things as you are enjoying and to start with the body of the air and a place of right which won't be a bad idea sorry i i don't have enough money on me to buy drinks for anybody too bad since you don't have money to buy anybody anything then there's no need for you to enjoy What do you think you just did? Don't be in a hurry. We have a question to ask. One of us is interested in Jennifer. I would kindly like you to advise her not to bother seeing you again. And if you don't, this knife will not only be playing with my fingers, but will be stuck in your heart. Can't you see I'm shivering? Thanks for your message anyway. Maybe we should talk about it instead of running away from our problems. What do you want to talk about? I love you so much. I'm not a coward. If it means laying down my life, I'm willing and prepared to do that. It's 
going to be all right, okay? I went to confront Dr. Bermuda. Jesus Christ. I did not do that. How could you have done such a foolish thing? I have nothing going on with him. I know, but, but you just put yourself in more troubles like this. I swear, I'm telling the girl you don't want her anymore. What do you want? You want trouble? Maybe so, but we told you to stay away from this girl. But he didn't do anything to you. What <laughs> Seem be alright, but we need some money to treat him properly. But that has to be done before the end of tomorrow. Honestly, they didn't intend him to be alive. But however, I was able to patch him up, alright? It's alright. It's it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> How are you? There's a problem. Nicholas? In the hospital? Wh which hospital? We call it hospital. Hey, what, what's the problem? Okay, okay. Now pull down. Eh? Wait for me there. I shall be with you in a minute. What's that Hey! They have killed me! Oh, my son! Do you have with you? No, no, no. no, no. Hey, God, Just take care of me. Doctor, we're waiting for you. You're welcome. Yeah, this is the tidy towers on there. What is important here is that you get my son well as soon as possible. I only treat. I do not make our bills. The cashier will do that. All right. But can we see him now? Oh, you are free. He's awake. If um, you young lady. I think you need rest. You've been pushing yourself too hard. Maybe after this, you need to have a holiday. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Jenny, let's see him. Okay. Nicholas. I heard that you decided to pull a James Bond's act. But you taught me to fight for what I believe in. Of course. But I did not teach you to take on a battalion of hoodlums. <sighs> How bad is it? Well, a broken arm, a few broken ribs, concussion. It's all right. Nicola, can you recognize the boys that did this to you? No, Dad, no. Um, but even if I do, I don't think it will be necessary to just, just forget it. People that do this kind of thing to other people should not be allowed to go free. But Dad, me, I think it's not worth it. Just let it go.
Jenny. I'd love to ask you a question. What is that? Uh, I'd love to tell you a little story about this ring. You've always noticed it with me. I, I got it a long time ago when we were in secondary school. I've always worn it. Praying to God and hoping that someday I'd give it to you. Hold on <laughs> to your love. Don't let love sleep away. Cause true love is hard to find. Hold on to your love. Oh my god. Uh -uh. Hey. Hi. What's up? Hi. Oh god. It's been Guess so what? hard. Guess what? What? Okay. What? <sighs> what is this? Oh my god. Nick has asked me to marry him. Oh my god. <sighs> Jenny, this is so beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. I was so excited. So, what did you tell him? What else would I have said? I said, yes, of course. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. Well, thank you. Oh. So, how will both of you cope? You are still a student, so is Nick. Yeah. And see, I don't want to think about that. I am still dreaming. Mm -hmm. I just want to feel oh, happy. Oh, this is wonderful! Thank you, darling. <laughs> I'm so happy yeah, for I, you. I love him so much. I know that. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's up, darling? See, what lots of you girls do not know is that making a first class degree is the simplest thing in this world. That Jennifer is my wife. Are you know a convinced man? He's the most dangerous man to deal with. Because of Jennifer. You sent your thoughts to me. Me! I'll use you as a sign. Make you a signpost for others to see. I have arranged a meeting for you. I hope you will enjoy it. Right to 
do this. Uh, excuse me. Uh, wait. You can have Jennifer. You can have Jennifer. You can have Jennifer. You can have Jennifer. You so desire it. Please. Hold on to your love. Together as one Two hearts that beat as one With true love that comes from the heart Nothing on anyone Can tear them apart oh, yeah. Anything that comes their way yeah. Together they will stay The weed of the storm In every form Oh, because They love one another Oh, hold on True love 
My friend, I was employed an accountant in this office, not a cashier. Ours is to do the job and stay clear. At the end of the day, you collect your salary and walk away. I speak up for my rights. See, this is not NYSE camp. This is corporate world of banking. And if you must do the job and forge ahead, you have to push all your rights into your pocket. Do the job. Just get out of my office, man. That's your business, isn't it? Which woman? What's her name? Oh, ah, yes, send her in, send her in, yeah. Nicholas this morning oh. and he gave me the address to this place and I told him I must get here. Oh, that's very good of you. Of course. You look great. Well, you don't look bad yourself. <laughs> anyway, we thank God for his mercy. <laughs> so, what do they call you here? Alonio, they call me the branch manager of our big business. <laughs> <laughs> that's a <exactly laughs> one, you know? That's how it is, you know? Come on, uh, Jenny. Don't tell me you are still with this Nicholas guy. My sister, I am still with him. Oh. Guess what? I'm planning to settle down very soon. Now, wow. <laughs> hey, watch that. <laughs> you are really trying. <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to stay with one man for this long. Well, my Nick is not just in the man. He is something very, very special. You can see that again. Mm -hmm. And that's because you've not met somebody else. You wait by the time you meet somebody else, you will know he's not that special. Anyway, that's my own opinion. If you have found joy in his hands, just eh, stay there. My sister, I have found lots and lots of happiness. <laughs> well, enough, enough about Nicholas, okay? What, what, what's been happening to you? You tell me first. No, no, no. Well, yes, yes, yes. I work in this office and all that. What have you been up to? I know you're not doing any serious you thing. You're landing in on yours first, baby. Girl. Thank you. Well, I've been good. You know, my parents, we're still living in the same car. Well, it's a good thing. 
every young man should think of settling down quick enough. Bonique, you've not told us who the girl is, or doesn't she have a name? Of course, she has a name, Dad. Uh, her name is Jennifer. Jennifer? Who is Jennifer? And from where? I'm on the same Jennifer we went to school together. Maureen's daughter? Yes, Mom. I didn't know that this thing would be that serious. Hmm. I told you. I told you to leave them alone, that they will work out things on their own. Haven't they? It's okay. If that will make our son happy, who am I to stop it? Thank you, Mom. Nicholas. The Bible tells us that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Thank God you have found a wife and I am sure God's favor will follow you. Amen. Amen. Don't worry. We will start making our inquiries. Thank you very much, Dad. Mom, hey. thank you. Systems engineer. I was called up to look at the printer. Your secretary told me to wait here. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're welcome. My name is Jennifer. Oh, please sit down. Thank you. Oh! You don't look like a system engineer. <laughs> sorry. What are we supposed to look like? Like geeks, you know, with all your white glasses and stuff. Misconception. This is what I look like. I don't know about the others. Excuse me. What's wrong with it? Well, I thought you're here to find out. You just stopped working. Okay. You know, computers and printers are like women. They have fragile hearts. Oh, you seem to know a lot about women. Shouldn't I? They are the best subjects to study. Like you. I can tell you that you're beautiful. But that wouldn't mean much until I find out exactly what it is that makes you beautiful. <laughs> well, I guess that is important to answer. Well, God has played his part. The rest is left to us. Actually, what our faces look like is our making. I can teach you more on the subject if you allow me. Well, sorry, I'm a pretty busy person. Well, the pretty I can take the busy. Uh -uh. See, I can buy you dinner while I try and figure out what it is that makes you beautiful. Well, no, we do. I had a strange feeling you were going to say yes. Anyway, that's a discussion for another day. I'll take your printer to my office. What? In oh. case I need to get some more information from you. Okay, no problem. It was really nice meeting you, Mr. Alasso Pelema. Are you going to carry this with uh, No, I, I'll, I'll, I'll call my technician. So. Okay, now this is in your room. Take care of yourself. Hold on to your love. Don't let love sleep away. Cause true love is hard to find. Hold on to your love Hold on to your love Don't let love sleep Hello, Nicholas here I 
cannot call it a problem. But uh, it is not something that we can talk about on the telephone. Your mother and I would like to see you. Okay, then. Uh, uh, I'll take permission from work now. Um, see you guys immediately. Okay, goodbye. Okay, then. So seen with our eyes. Nicholas, you are our son, and all we want for you is what will benefit you. Marriage, you know, is a lifelong thing. If you make a mistake, you may not have the time or chance to make amends. So, if you must choose, you must choose very, very well. Um, I don't understand. <clears throat> what your father is saying is that you must choose a different girl as wife. You cannot marry Jennifer. Yeah. I, I still don't understand. Why can't I marry Jennifer? Because we have investigated Jennifer's family. That family, there is infidelity in that family. Her mother was thrown out of her father's house because she was having these traumatic affairs. The same thing with her mother's sister. So how are we sure that Jennifer will not go the same way? That is the point. I can't believe this. That I can't believe this coming from you. I mean, you people, intelligent, educated, God-fearing, religious people. That Jennifer is a Christian. I am the only man that has come anywhere near Jennifer. That does not mean that she will not show you her true colors when the time comes. Well, ma'am, Dad, if this is all the reason you have to prevent me from marrying Jennifer, I can as well advise you to look for another reason. Even if you refuse giving me your blessings on this matter. Hell. Oh. Sorry, I'll still marry Jennifer. That girl was a very terrible to you. Must have done something, something terrible to you. Then I've got to go. Hi. Nicholas. Yes. Nicholas. Good morning. What are you doing here? Well, I noticed you don't have a car as of yet. And you normally have problems with transportation in the morning, so... I thought it would be a good idea if I could um, help drop you off this morning, since I'm also carrying a printer. That means you have been watching me, right? Studying would be the right word. Why? Why? When someone is interested in somebody, the person takes out time to study the person. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So how did you find this place? A question that will not be answered. Say, I got something for you. I'm sorry, you don't have to buy me anything. I look, don't think look, I need look, anything look, from look, you. Look, look, you are under no obligation to take it. But it would be nice if you do so since it's been bought already. Close your eyes. Why should I close my eyes? Just trust me. No, definitely. Uh, please, I uh, see, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. To pierce my eyes. I see, I don't want any more surprises this morning. You've already given me one. Right. I, I don't need any more. Please. I have good intentions. All right, fine. Okay, no problem. My eyes are closed. Uh huh. You're delaying. I'm uh, yeah, you don't. Just go, no, please. Don't. They're going around my neck. Uh, yeah, Definitely. it's supposed to go around your neck. Uh huh. There. Definitely, this is a necklace. Mm hmm. And I'm sure it's beautiful. 
look, it isn't as beautiful as the person that's gonna wear it. Why do you have to go through all this trouble? Let's not waste time here. We better start going before we get late for work, okay? You're actually very impossible. Very very impossible. <sighs> my, my little bit is impossible. since our childhood days. And now you think it's time, we need time to, to study each other? Nick very dearly. But compared to Alasso, he's he's boring. Alasso takes me to places I've never ever dreamt of going to in my life. He does some dangerous and exciting things. I mean he makes my blood flow. But is it possible for someone to be in love with two men at the same time? Come on, Jenny. You can't possibly be talking about love as far as Alasso is concerned. It is too early for that. But 
that's the way I feel. But you told me Nick has already started preparations for the introduction. Yes, and I was supposed to go and inform my parents over the weekend. But I can't bring myself to do it. I don't know. My feelings are just totally divided. What is that to say? Look, Jenny, marriage is a lifelong commitment. It's not something you get into in a hurry. All I have to tell you is follow your heart to wherever happiness is. Okay? Jenny, look, at least I deserve to know what is going wrong. I haven't said that anything is wrong. All I said is, I needed space and time to sort things out. But then, this you, you showed. Okay. Yes, this is top person for us, okay? Don't push it any further, alright? something before the both of us regret what is about to happen this night. See, I think we just go back to Hey, Bye, Are you ready? Sorry. The name is Alasso. Alasso Pelema Briggs, Tata Priye. How are you doing? They always are. Let's go paint the town. Come on, let Alasso cheer up. Hey. Neither will it remedy any situation. Dad, Dad, do you know what she said to me? She told me she didn't have time to think over everything. She told me she doesn't want me anymore. I mean, she's the only girl I've known all my life. But I told you, but you wouldn't listen. I told you, but you wouldn't listen. Now you are crying like a baby. I told you Jennifer would put you into trouble. Look, woman, this is not the time to lay blames. Our son is undergoing a traumatic situation. He needs our strength. Traumatic people at my foot. Didn't you know that this would happen to him? Did he not know that this would happen? What do I do now? That, how do I start? What, what do I do? Look, stop asking these questions. Stop! Look, there is no woman that is worth crying over. If she comes back to you, she is yours. Look, there are over a thousand of women out there that are better, far better than Jennifer. Pick up, my son, pick up. Cry like a baby. Go ahead and cry.
guys are going out tonight. I want to see how you can come to the You're coming alone? No, no. I don't feel like a painter tonight. Uh oh, -uh, my friend. Jenny is gone. And you have to accept that. I mean, it happens every day. You have to get on with the rest of your life. Listen, I am not interested in going out. Neither am I interested in meeting someone else. Just okay the way I am. And that's fine now. Uh, please, a little piece of information. Uh, what happened between I and Jennifer is strictly private. Okay, if that is what you want. Uh, see you some other time. I want to ask you a question. Okay. Shoot, what is it? Why do you always meet me to hotels? Don't you have a house? Of course I do. So why haven't you taken me there? Because it's not the kind of place to take a beautiful girl like you to. What do you mean by that? Don't worry, Jennifer. I'm touching the place up. When I finish putting the place together, I'll take you there. Now, we didn't come here to talk, did we? I don't know. Come on, give me some sugar. I'm not. Come on, give me sugar. Hey, hey, hey. What is that? Hey, come on, come on. Penis that you cannot keep in your trousers. Why is she? Let me do it too. Need to. How much you? How much you? Why you did not go? Do you know how I stand there? So he's really married. If he wasn't, why would the woman come to attack me like that? And the bastard has not even called to explain anything to me. And I don't even think you need an explanation from a liar like that. Don't you think I... think I left Nikki. I put our relationship in jeopardy. Just because of him. Pull yourself together. 
face him, but what am I gonna say to him? You know the best gift God gave to man? It is to be able to say I'm sorry. Go back to Nicholas to tell him you are sorry. I'm sure he will reconsider you. Okay, stop crying. There's nothing wrong in trying. Hmm? I don't know. As if he doesn't have someone else in his life. You never can tell. There's nothing wrong in trying. Go back to him. Okay? Mommy, you are still here. Oh, okay, my baby. Hold on to your love. Together they will stay 